So far, we've used fossilized to look at spatial data, such as where activation maps onto the brain, and temporal data, such as the time courses of different voxels. Fossilize is also an excellent tool for showing how your model is fitted to your data, and for helping you build your understanding of how beta weights are estimated. Starting with our filtered funk data, click on View, then Perspectives, and then Feet Mode. This will open up the Time Series panel, as well as a cluster browser showing the coordinates of peak activation for different clusters in that contrast. In this experiment, we have five contrasts one for each of the simple effects, and two that take the difference of the beta weights for different regressors. If you click on Add Z Statistics, this will overlay the Z Statistics map for that contrast, which is the same thing as adding a new overlay from the File menu. If you click on the arrow button next to the Z Max location, it will jump to the peak Z score voxel for that cluster. Now let's look at the model fit. In this case, we have three regressors, which you can see in the design.png file that's generated after you specify your model. The three main regressors are called index, sequential, and random, with each trial of each regressor lasting about 30 seconds. We also have time derivatives added to each regressor to account for any variation in the rise and fall of the HRF. Highlight the filtered funk data, then click on the spanner button and feed settings for selected overlay. Uncheck plot data and uncheck plot full model fit. Add the first two EVs, which are the regressors, and in plotting mode, select demeaned. This shows the HRF and its time derivative before they have been scaled to fit the data. Note how the design matrix and the time series display the same information for this regressor. Now add the rest of the EVs. When we estimate a model, each of these regressors will be scaled to best fit the data. That is, each of these regressors will be scaled and then combined to form a fitted or ideal time series that is compared to the time series at each voxel. Now remove those EVs and plot the data and model fit. A significant Z statistic means the model fits the data well. You can analyze the full model fit by looking at each regressor fit separately. Remember that all the regressors are scaled simultaneously to produce the best model fit. These regressors, or PEs, are then used in a second level analysis to determine which voxels show consistently high or low parameter estimates. The larger the PE and the more consistent it is, the higher the T or Z statistic for that PE at that voxel. In the next video, we'll take a look at atlases, maps of brain structures that you can use for locating regions and creating anatomical masks. See you soon.